Earlier this week, we told you about how some pharmacies are having a tougher time filling job openings. Now some tri-state dispatch centers in the tri-state and other parts of the country are reporting shortages as well. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett has more on the reasons and what's being done. Owensboro Davis County dispatchers use these computers to train on a new communication system going online later this fall. It includes uh, cars, MDTs. Uh, CAD for 911. But Dispatch Center Director Paul Nave says it happens as they work to fill seven openings on their 35 person staff, which has recently gotten tougher. And we're doing everything in our means to come up with solutions, try to recruit people, but it's, it's just difficult nowadays with the, the, with the, the, the staffing not available to apply. We, we, we can open up a job opening and we may not get five applicants. Just speaking with other colleagues uh, in the area, um, they have had some difficulty actually uh, uh, getting some applicants to fill those positions. Some dispatch centers in the tri-state and around the U.S. either currently have or have experienced shortages in the past year. The International Academies of Emergency Dispatch reports some centers are struggling with as much as 50 percent vacancies. Some dispatchers move on for new jobs, but others quit after realizing what the job really takes. We've had some people actually come in and sit down and realize the amount of work and stress at times that we, uh, you know, have and, and incur. And, um, you know, this isn't just answering the phones or, you know, a this is, you know, providing life-saving measures. Micah Jackson of Tell City Central Dispatch says they just filled two openings, bringing them back to full staff. He says shortages lead them to balance workloads of current staff, but it doesn't impact response times by police, fire, or EMS. None of our services have, you know, uh, diminished or declined because of uh, staffing issues. My Pickett, Eyewitness News.